<laughs> well, hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Ascension Playground. Wow, it's 2023, July, and I'm coming back from two separate week-long vacations in Esalen Institute, located in Big Sur, California. The reason I'm sharing that is, you know, sometimes you run, you, you're running out of gas, um, everything seems to bother you, and you just get a little too cranky pants. So if you were like me, those are usually signs and signals to take a break. I don't know, there was just so many multiple layers of the personal life within the community, a disaster zone, trying to fix a bridge um, with 31 families. There's so many layers, right? And that is what we call the human experience. So for me, I'm rather um, enjoying my time of isolation and being in an art studio or reading books about all things esoteric or enjoying podcasts or Gaia TV. But recently, my husband and I, we celebrated 20 years, 21 years of marriage and 23 years of being together. So it's easy to remember because we started our journey in 2000. And here we are. So here's a background that I'm bringing in to invite you to consider as well, one, to take that break if you need it, um, or plan it at least on the calendar, make time for you. It's the hardest thing to do, but it's re the rewards are phenomenal. I've come back with more joy, with more resilience, and this idea of, oh, more wonder. And so I'm just here to say on the playground, why don't you take a pause and just refresh yourself? In doing so, I came back, we brought together some friends and celebrated our 21 year marriage and trying to re-up and renew for another 21 years. But here's the trick in any part of life that you might be in, it's knowing how to stay present in the moment so hard for me. <laughs> There's about 20 things I could be doing, should be doing, want to be doing. But in this now moment here on the playground, it's really an invitation to myself to say, go ahead and schedule more time for you. That beach walk or that walk in nature, no dogs, no friends, just you. Hard to do in this age of distraction, but the rewards are phenomenal. You know, all those books that you've bought or the card decks that you plan to play with, go ahead and um, set some time for yourself. Anyway, I just thought I would come forward and say, thank you so much for being part of the playground. I enjoy all things galactic. I enjoy, I don't know, just everything that can allow us ways into working with source working with our own human divine potential. So I plan on doing a little mini series on tarot or tarot. Used to be afraid of that word only because it just conjured up, I don't know, that word witchcraft or um, not good. But now that I'm 60, what the heck? Let's play and see what these archetypal energies have to share with me in this chapter of my life. And so being a painter, I'm really tuning in to the beautiful mm, energies of each of the 22 major arcanas. Wow, so in this short little video, I'm talking about so many little things, but I gotta tell you, the tarot is calling me. So I'll be sharing a few and we'll see where the conversation might lead. If you enjoy tarot cards, and they're different than Oracle cards. Put a little comment in the box. What's been your experience? Do you enjoy the Rider Waite deck, the original? Have you looked at the Florentine deck before the Rider Waite? So we're gonna play some cards, see how we land, but it all comes down to this core understanding that everything 
everything is energy and this energy carries creativity and we can project and we can create the energy fields that we choose. So looking at 22 major arcana tarot cards, these archetypal energies, how will it inform my joy of the galactic, my joy of astrology, or just my joy of really looking at the stories of what it is to be human. Thanks for joining me on the playground. Go ahead and schedule yourself time with just you. Take care, and we'll see you next time on the Ascension Playground. Bye for now. Ah!